America has always prepared for war. There's more money in preparing for war than going to war. The military Keynesian policies come come up right after World War II. I mean, the Republicans are fear, are fearful, claim to be fearful about another depression coming to America like we had in 1930. So they said, we got to keep militarizing the economy, pumping money into weapons, building up. This will help our economy not to retreat. So the Cold War never ended. That's a fallacy. Uh, it, we thought it might end. We thought there'd be a peace, a peace dividend, but it never came about. The money kept coming to the to the military and the intelligence agencies. It's interesting because I grew up uh, really at the end of the Cold War. You know, I was born in '84. I saw really the the fall. You know, the, I became conscious during the fall of the Berlin Wall, and right away it was you know pivoting to Iraq, and that was '90 90, '91, and that and that was so immediately it was like my my consciousness was basically coming out of the end of the Cold War right into a whole series of wars in the 90s because there was this feeling, I believe, of American supremacy, right? We had basically, we'd prevailed, now we could do what we wanted. There were, at least was a very strong middle class. It was a relatively developed economy, it was stable. And when we started to blow it up, kind of like what happened in Afghanistan in the 80s, very similar situation in Syria, creating ISIS, creating all these different terror groups, destroying that country. And of course, what happened? You end up with populations that are being displaced. They go into Europe. It creates more uh, chaos for the economies of the, of the European countries. But what's happening is exactly what my dad pointed out. When you start to destabilize countries and you don't, don't allow them to have peace, to have you know, viable working economies for their people, then you know people are displaced and it creates as we know chaos in the countries that are absorbing them